Active Reef Restoration, through the garden concept, consists of two main steps. In the first step, colonies are fragmented into smaller fragments using a cutter. So you go from a branch as close as you can to the base, okay. and you just flip it off. And then we can start fragmenting this into smaller pieces. So usually it depends on the project, you can do even pieces from like this. Oh, okay. like the nubbins, but for this, this will be the size. Kind of These fragments are glued to plastic pins or wall plugs. And you're placing it on the paper. And you see I'm placing it with the place that I'm going to glue to. Now, what I'll do, I'll put a, a very small drop of uh, super glue. That's it. No more than that. And when it's dry, I'm just placing it on it and hold it for a few seconds. Very high tech. <laughs> very high. It's from Israel, so it's very high tech. Check the attachment by tapping it gently and place them in fresh seawater. In the case of bigger fragments, it's possible to glue them on a wall plug anchor. Anyone can master it with the right guides. Arrange the corals on holding nets and transfer to Mary Culture in midwater coral nurseries. Midwater floating nurseries move all the time, producing currents for the corals, which enhance the growth. There are fewer coral predators away from the reef in the midwater coral nursery, resulting in higher survivability. When the fragments are big enough, they are transplanted into the graded reef. Transplanting is conducted by drilling small holes in the reef. Drilling is conducted by using pneumatic driller that is attached to a scuba tank. It is also possible to attach the driller to snuba on the water surface. By using epoxy glue, the bottom part of the plastic pin or wall plugs is anchored to the holes. The serrated structure of the wall plug allows it to anchor more strongly to the substrate. This gives structural strength to the base of the colony and prevents it from being detached from the substrate due to storms, fish or divers. It is important to insert the coral into the hole, so its lower tissue will touch the reef and deposit new tissue and skeleton for self-attachment. The method of drilling and gluing is also suitable for artificial reefs and objects. In case where an artificial reef is planned in advance, holes can be drilled ahead of time, thus skipping the drilling step underwater. The result is a wonderful garden.